freedom to choose the jobs you want, when you want. This video is sponsored by Avail Logistics. With the driver demand at an all time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching, I do appreciate it. Hopefully you are doing well. I'm actually using uh, a new microphone today. I got the uh, wireless Rode Mic 2 or something. Uh, so it's like the next version up from what I was using previously. So let me know if the audio sounds better or worse or, or even the same even. I imagine it probably sounds the same, I would have thought. Anyway, we are currently in Leighton Buzzard. We're about to do a delivery. Uh, we loaded from South Surrey this morning and uh, we're going to deliver this to Leighton Buzzard now, which we've been to recently in a previous video, so I'm not going to show too much uh, of this place. And then we're loading for a double collection, one for Southall and one for Croydon. So I'm not going to get around your mate with you there, so you're going to have to go. Yeah, so we've got to get loaded for Southport and Croydon, both of which are on the M25, or within the in interior of the M25, let's say. But we've got to use the M25 to get around to go to each place, normally, anyway. However, I've heard that there are currently oil protesters sitting amongst the gantries on the M25, Junction 11 being one of them, which is a junction I will need to go past. <laughs> so, I'm not sure which way we're going. Uh, I don't know, basically. I need to get this delivered first. We're reloading out of the same place. Then I can work out how we're going to get to Southall. Let's just cross one bridge at a time. Get to Southall first, get that one off. And then we can go to Croydon afterwards. I'm not sure which Croydon branch we're going to. There's two in Croydon. Well, assuming we're going to Sig Roofing, that is. There's two in Croydon. And, um, yeah. Not sure if they take deliveries after two o'clock or not. I'm pretty sure that Southall which is the one we're going to first, don't take deliveries after two o'clock. I might be wrong, I'll have to check the paper before we go, put the uh, destination to the sat-nav and see, uh, see how long it's going to take to get there with the traffic. That's the other thing as well, I can connect my sat-nav to the traffic, to Tom Tom's live data, and hopefully it will advise me on the quickest route, uh, including traffic, so we're going to do that. But yes, that's today's plan anyway. Whether we get held up in any traffic, I am not sure. It might take us on the M25 anyway, because it might be quicker and to go through. It might be that the protesters are on the other side of the road, so it's that road they've closed, but we can still pass. But we might see them still, so we'll see. Um, I'm not going to get into my opinion on it too much, other than, let's just say, they are causing mayhem. <laughs> um, I don't want to get into trouble too much, because, you know... It, if they they got a cause, they're doing what they believe is right. Everyone does what they believe is right, don't they, at the end of the day. But personally, I would try not to interfere with anybody else's life or business. But they've got a point to prove, haven't they? Anywho, we're here. Anyway, let's take a right-hand turn coming up. Uh, oh, real quickly, my last video, I smashed a tail light on a trailer in the yard got quite a few comments saying that my boss should put lighting in the yard i just wanted to clarify uh a couple of things firstly it's not our yard we um we operate out of out of a sawmill the sawmill owns the yard we don't it's their yard we basically paid to be there and secondly it doesn't matter anyway because we're moving out of it soon so um yeah we've grown too big for them and they need the space so we've uh, got to go got to go into another yard we've got another yard lined up so wait for uh, wait for some news on that and we'll uh, we'll head there I think we've got a couple of months or something so in the new year I expect there'll be some content in the new yard 
Say hello to me, old matey boy there on the forklift. Right, so we need to go book in. We've got to get collected out of here as well, so. Might be here for a little while. Because we've got to unstrap a whole load, then we've got to strap a whole load. We might have to get loaded in a different area to where we're offloaded, do you know what I mean? So, we might be here for a while. The time now is five past six, just gone. So we'll see what time we leave. Just all getting checked now. Then we've got to strap it all up and we can go. Right, so we are now loaded. Is that the right one? Is right. this one? The straps have been tangled up. That's nice. Uh, that one goes under. Lovely. It's a bit of messing around, but needs to be done. Yeah, so we are loaded for both South Hall and Croydon. Um, we've been here for nearly two hours. It's taken quite a while to offload, quite a while to load. And uh, I'll try and show you the load in a minute. It's, it's a full load, double stack, and a uh, bit of everything really. So it takes a it's also all loaded at an angle where so basically all my straps are going diagonally rather than straight across. It's a bit of a pain to strap, not gonna lie. Anyway, <laughs> so it's nearly 12 o'clock. It's gonna take two hours to get to the first delivery point. So that puts it to two o'clock. And the first delivery point and the second delivery point, according to the paperwork, do not take delivery after two o'clock in the afternoon. So we might not actually get any of this off today. And it's all because the protesters. If there was no protesters, this first one would definitely be delivered, wouldn't be an issue. But because of the protesters, there's traffic. <laughs> and that two hour, it takes two hours to get to the first one because of the traffic. So, might even take longer. So basically, I'm going to need to finish stuffing this up, I'm nearly done. Now I need to phone the boss up because uh, the boss is basically like a chess master and he moves all the pieces on the board. I'm a, I'm a pawn. <laughs> and uh, he might say crack on, do what you can do, or he might say, okay, do this instead. I don't know, like I'm already loaded. So the only other option would be to go back to the yard and maybe load up another trailer. But uh, yeah, I would have, I would assume, I would assume that it would just be a case of just trying to get this first one off. But I might actually be parked up today, just after two o'clock in the afternoon. All right, that's what we look like this side. So those three boxes there are for the second delivery. The rest of it is for the first delivery. And uh, to show you the other side as well. So there's the back of it, all of that is for the first delivery, and then there's four pallets this side on the front, which is for the uh, second delivery. Anyway, let's go make a phone call, double check what the boss wants us to do, and we'll, we'll go from there. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HGVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HGV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link is in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Right. We're loaded. I haven't phoned the boss. I've just given him a quick call. Um, sorry. I haven't phoned the boss. I've just given him a quick call. No, I've given him a quick text just to say both, both stalls don't take deliveries after two o'clock. Should just about get the first one off. Hopefully. That's the plan. Uh, but yeah, we've been here quite a while. Two hours. Not, not ideal. Certainly hasn't helped things, but <coughs> the traffic bit of a nightmare it's saying we're going to be there 20 past one so we should get the first one off not a problem but if we get held up in too much traffic then that's when the issue is going to arise yeah so um 
there's no chance of getting the second delivery off anyway. Not a chance. But we will do what we can do. We will try our best. That is all we can do at the end of the day, isn't it? Try our best. So yeah, um, these protesters uh, are certainly causing havoc because, uh, yeah, millions, well, millions, I don't know, hundreds, thousands of, of road users are just being held up. I've seen pictures whilst being loaded. I've seen pictures of uh, car users and lorry drivers and they're just, they're all parked up, not doing anything, not achieving anything. Just a waste of time. There's people are not going to see their families tonight like lorry drivers because they won't have enough time to get back home I won't be home I think I'll, I'll be on a night out tonight might have been uh, might have been a chance of me going home tonight but there's no chance now but it is what it is isn't it so it's not too much we can do about it we'll just uh, do what we can do anyway let's crack on I'll see you when we get a little bit closer um, hopefully we can get the first one off fingers crossed see you in a bit Okay, so, we've got some traffic, Just wasn't expecting that, <laughs> um, yeah, this is on the M1, so we're not even on the M25, I've seen quite a few helicopters go over, and also um, on bridges there's like a lot of enforcement agencies like police and DVSA and traffic officers and stuff like that, um, yeah, it seems like they're keeping an eye out on uh, on the old bridges for uh, for anything. Still touch and go wherever we make the first one. Uh, the second one, the boss has said. I, got, I heard back from the boss, and he said, "Oh look, there's a traffic officer going there." Look. He um, he said that head there anyway because one of our one of our other colleagues made a delivery after two o'clock. There's another traffic officer. Look. They're all over the place here. So we are going to try and make the second delivery anyway, but that's assuming we get the first one off. We're now sat in traffic, so, yeah. What can you do? Uh, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of traffic. Man. <laughs> we're uh, we're still stuck in traffic. I'm not sure what these guys are doing. They're literally cutting in front of the maritime truck. Um, yeah, we're still stuck in traffic. I think we, we need to. I think we need to get over. I think. We're, we're, we're stuck in the middle of everything. I think we need to be in like lane three and four to go straight over, I think, but we can't actually go anywhere. No one's letting anybody out either. There's like nothing we can do. Got a car down the left now. I think he's gonna, yeah, he's going through the gap here between me and this lorry. There he goes. The one behind me wants to do it as well. I think he is. No, he's come to a stop. 
cool. I was waiting for him to go. If he was going to go, then um, I was going to stop, but he's not going, so. Oh, this is annoying, because we need to... I think we need to get over, but we can't. We can't get over. No, everything's come to a standstill again. Engine off. So annoying. I've always said, I've always said the only thing I don't like about driving is not driving, which is now basically. The, the sitting around doing nothing, stuck in traffic. Hate it. It's just really weird because lanes three and four are, are flowing. They're going. And I'd like to be in lanes three and four, but I can't get in lanes three and four. I am wedged in. Not good. Back there, there was a Royal Mail truck that literally drove across the grass, the grass verge. I thought it was going to get stuck. Only a little seven and a half ton thing it was, but got <laughs> drove literally across the, the, the grass verge. I was there like, what are you doing? Madness. I think sitting in traffic brings out the worst in people. Ah, anyway, I have found the company I'm delivering to because it, it says on the paperwork, this paperwork right here in my hand, it says, deliveries to Southall can only be accepted between 6.30 and 2 p.m. Monday to Friday. All drivers must call the branch an hour prior to arrival. I'm an hour away, technically. Um, so I have phoned them, as I did last time. Really friendly guys, actually. I've only been there once before. It's actually one of my videos I recently uploaded, actually, when I had the blowout. Yeah, it was the day I had the blowout. So that's where we're going now, to the same place, where we go to that roundabout, turn right, and yeah. Um, I phoned him up, said, look, all right, guys, said, how strict is your 2 p.m. delivery time slot? He said, yeah, very strict, we don't take deliveries after two o'clock. I was like, ah, oh, okay, gutted. I said, um, well, I'm on my way there anyway, so I'm stuck in traffic on the M1 because of protesters. So I'm going to be there as soon as I can. If you turn me away, then, you know, turn me away, but it would be great if you can tip me. I'll probably, hopefully, be there between two and three, that's what I said. And he said, all right, we'll try and tip you. Um, but if you turn up after three o'clock, we probably won't be able to tip you. I was like, right, okay, cool. I said, I, I don't suppose I could park there overnight? He said, yeah, you can park here overnight. Banging. So we've got a parking space sorted. <laughs> we're going uh, to park up outside um, our delivery point, fingers crossed. Why is lanes three and four free-flowing? I just, I, I think, I don't know. I think the road goes off somewhere to the left and that's maybe what's closed. But like, I'm, I'm, I'm wedged in. What can I do? Literally wedged in. I can't go anywhere. Nothing's moving. So yeah, thank you protesters. Thank you, protesters, for ruining my day. It stays like today. You know, sometimes it makes me wonder if I enjoy doing my job, I'm not gonna lie. I love my job. I do love my job. But it's things like family. I'm not gonna see my family tonight. I'll be on a night out, that's guaranteed because of this. But it's not so bad, I suppose, because today they got, they got stuff planned anyway, like um, activities and stuff like swimming and cheerleading and stuff like that so today actually it's one of the better days to have a night off because or night out rather because uh, they're busy doing stuff and they won't be back until 8 o'clock at night anyway so and then I've got to go to bed to be up early in the morning but some days some, some days you're like I just want to go home and, and you can't you're stuck so a question I get asked quite often what happens if you're stuck in traffic and you run over your duty time it's quite quite a common question um the answer is, um, you continue driving until you find a safe place to stop. That's what the law says. Even if you've done a 15 hour shift and I'm now stuck in this traffic, even if I'm stuck in this traffic for four or five hours, you continue working because you've got to get your truck in a safe space. 
can't leave it on a hard shoulder. Um, so yeah, that's what the rule says. You obviously will go over your hours, uh, and then you've got to do a printout on the tacking machine at the top, do a printout right on the back. I think you've got to do two copies, I think, I'm not sure. But do at least one. Right on the back while you were delayed. And uh, maybe even take a photograph on your phone with your keys at your ignition, photograph of, of, of a head. It's got the time and the date and where you were. Most phones are geotagged anyway. So you've got that as added proof that you were here at this time doing that. You're stuck in traffic. That will coincide with your tachograph. And then you just park up as soon as you can. So that's what you would do if you were stuck in traffic and you went over your duty time. What time does that now say we're going to get to our destination? So it says two o'clock already, and I don't think that's fully updated. Or maybe it is. Yeah, two o'clock. So if we left now, we'd be there at two o'clock, so. Yes, we're delayed. We are delayed. Right, I've managed to make it into lane three. I said all these people, I think, are queuing for the M25, I think. Junction 6A, whereas we want Junction 6, the next one down. And like, where I was back there, I was just wedged in, I couldn't get out. In the end, I've, <laughs> I literally cut across two lanes diagonally just to get try and get out. Luckily, H3 drivers realised what I was trying to do. I don't want the M25. <laughs> I'm not trying to go on the M25, I'm trying to go past it. For now, I need it later. But it's still causing mayhem everywhere. Anyway, ETA is currently 10 past two. There's a chance I could still get tipped. There is a chance I could still get tipped. We'll have to see. Wish me luck. Right. We got through the traffic. We're just about to come off the M4 now. So yeah, um, we just got wedged in that particular area, so we couldn't get out. Everyone was queuing up for the M25. Um, and we were no one was moving, <laughs> so you couldn't go anywhere because it was completely standstill. Eventually, we managed to get out, go on to uh, go on to lane three and four, uh, lane three of the M1, which took us past the M25, uh, and it was actually starting to free flow then as well. So we were going to be stuck anyway. Um, got on the M25. Now we're on the M4, and um, yeah, we're about to come off now and. Hopefully get the delivery done, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Um, yeah, so there's no deliveries after two o'clock. It's just gone 10 past two now. And uh, we're good five minutes away. So by the time we get there and roll up, it'd be about 20 past two. Will they tip us? I don't know. They might do, they might not. If we're there and plan on staying overnight, they might decide to tip us anyway, so. But maybe just take the time about it. I don't know, we'll have to see. Um, yeah, across that bridge when we get there. But we're nearly there. Everyone's stopping, so it must be a green light for us in a sec. Let's go. Let's, uh, let's just block up the roundabout, everyone, shall we? Lovely, 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 lovely. Right, where are we going to park? That's the next question. We uh, park over here, might be enough. Got to make sure there's enough room for someone to get past me, that's all. There's a van behind me just now. Oh, he's there. Cool, right. Let's see if they tip us, they might not. Let's have a look. Right, straps are off. Has a draw on there, annoy me, I'm gonna turn them off. Straps are off. Um, they are gonna tip me, so that's good. And 
hopefully they start soon. But ah, uh, mind you, we're not actually getting too much of a rush because we ain't getting the second one off. I just put it into the sat nav now. If we left now, we'd be there at ten past four. <laughs> um, plus, we're going to be here for probably at least forty-five minutes, I suspect, maybe an hour. Last time I was here, it took a while. Um, and also, there's no point going all the way to Croydon just to be refused. So, I think I'm going to be stopping in Cobham Services tonight, which is only half an hour away. If we left now, it'll be ten past three. So. They pull their fingers out here. We could be parked up by four o'clock this afternoon, which is which is really, really early. Really, really early. But it does mean I've got time to edit this very video that you're watching because, um, yeah, that'll be the end of the video. <laughs> but let's get this off anyway. I'll show you the load again. Let's go and have a look. There we go. So that's staying on. And this back lot is coming off this end. It's quite heavy. And the same on the other side as well. There you go, that's the other side. Yeah, all that can come off, hopefully. Just need to remove this bit of wood. Right, we are tipped. But we need to try and get out of here. Ah, right, he's moving now, okay. I didn't think the lorry behind me was gonna move. I thought I had to angle between him and this one on my right here. <laughs> but yes, we are uh, on the move. Let's get on out of here. Lovely. Someone did say in my last video there was enough room to spin round in here down in front. I wouldn't say there was enough room, not today. Not today. Anyway, that's the uh, reversing manoeuvre done. We will need to go left, so we're going to start indicating. See what I can go on now because we finished up re reversing manoeuvre. Uh, and yeah, there's, there's, there's no time to get the um, delivery done today in Croydon uh, we wouldn't be there until 10 to 5 that's with no traffic because it's not actually hooked up to the traffic right now so um, yeah we are going to go to Cobham Services it's half an hour till we're there and I think we're going to park up there for the night and we'll be there at quarter to four <laughs> it's well early um, yeah so that's what we're going to do go to Cobham Services park up there for the night and then we'll do the other one in the morning, but yeah, you probably won't see that. I'll um, create a separate video for that. Unfortunately, if this is a short video, blame the protesters. Because <laughs> I, I try to keep it on a single day only. It, was, it gets really confusing when it comes to the editing side. But uh, yeah, as you can see, we're, uh, we're in a bit of traffic still, even now, look. So that's good. Good, good. Not, not good, not really. Ah, bloody lights. Yeah, so um, we'll crack on to common services. I'll probably see you, well, I will see you when we get there. And uh, we'll take it from there. I don't know how much it costs to park in common services. I've never stayed there before. I've been there loads of times. But I've never actually paid to stay the night. Oh, I've got my hovers on still. Oh, well, never mind, it's on now. It'll be coming off in half now. <laughs> Oh, that nav's just come up. Yeah, there is traffic. Seven minute delay, so it's going to take us about 35 minutes to uh, to get to our destination. 
never mind. Right, see you at Common Services. And we're here, parked up. Take this bloody Ivy's off now as well. Uh, this is going to be home for the night. Um, <laughs> we did have an issue with the truck on the way. The windscreen wiper stopped working. They're working now. Uh, it was raining and they stopped working. I only had a mile to go, so I pulled over on the hard shoulder. Uh, tried the fuses, they weren't working. Um, made a call. Yeah, they're working. Uh, tried the relay, swapping some relays over just so I get the windscreen wipers working. Tried taking the reverse light relay off the trailer because I wasn't going to reverse. If I can get the reverse light relay working onto the windscreen wash, and I can technically drive with the wipers going, which, which means I'm legal, don't need the reverse lights, don't mean to go forward. <laughs> um, so, but that didn't work. Um, for some reason, it wasn't working whatsoever. Um, and then I thought, ah, whatever. So I put it all back together, and then it worked. <laughs> so I don't know what happened. I think it's okay to turn it off and back on again. So I've been messing around with the fuse box and relays to get the windscreen wipers to work it, but yeah. They're definitely going. Definitely going. Anyway, lovely. Anyway, that is going to be the end of this video. I do uh, thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Unfortunately, uh, we didn't really get to see too much because of the protesters. So it is what it is. Um, in the next one, we will see more, I promise. Thank you for watching. Do appreciate it. Drive safe, stay safe. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.